Oh boy. Here we are. Hello, how's it going, bros? It's Skitsy Cat, and today we're playing I Love You, Colonel Sanders, a finger licking good dating simulator. Well, I do not know how my life has come to this. I just started out YouTube, and I'm already playing these kinds of games. Let's see. Um, I am genuinely horrified at the, the look KFC is giving me right now. Great ending. <laughs> Wait, are we still recording? I looked at full screen mode. Oh, I wasn't recording. <sighs> Let's try this again. Okay, we're recording again. Good. <laughs> Oh uh, no. So hey, how's it going guys? It's Skitsy. And I just hit record again because it stopped recording when I took a screenshot of Colonel Sanders Chan San Senpai. Oh <laughs> what's it doing to me? Alright, let's hit new game again. Before we get started, yep, I already did this earlier. Uh, skist Skitsy. Skitsy. Hmm. Alright, so um, I got the idea from watching the Anime Man play this. Shout out to Joey. Um, how's it going, bro? <laughs> um, check out this link in the... Honestly, I have no idea what I'm doing. Just check out that link <laughs> if you want to watch this gameplay of it. Yeet. The world's peaceful and serene. I can stay in bed forever. But this dang chicken screaming in my ear. Shut up, chicken! Lying in bed, you stare at the ceiling, thinking about everything that awaits you at the prestigious university at the cooking school. Academy for learning. Totally real school, by the way. Your mind begins to wander. Will you, who will be there? What will you cook? What should you wear? Time begins to pl fly by and you find your imagination getting away from you. You allow yourself to daydream a bit. Yeah, I'm a chill person. It's here, finally, the first day of culinary school. So many dishes to prepare, so many students to meet. Your mind is swimming with possibilities when you realize you're running late. So you grab a, gis uh, a biscuit and burst out the door in a hurry. Biscuit time! Biscuit <laughs> Yikes! In fact, you forgot to put on deodorant. Just sweating buckets as you rush out. Yup, that's me. <laughs> that's Skitsy. Always decent smelling. I never bathe. <laughs> Standing in the squad, you gaze upon the magnificent university of cooking school. Academy for learning. Here comes your lifelong best friend forever, Miriam! She's the most adorably awkward person you've ever met, and you absolutely love her for it. Mm, I know, man. Good morning, Skitsy! Are you excited for the first day of the rest of our lives? Nope. Because I am, I sure am, excited, a little nervous, okay, okay, a lot nervous. What? It's just that this morning I made breakfast for myself, but well, when I ate it, I couldn't taste any love in the food. What if I'm no good? What if I fail? I don't care, man. Um, I don't care, man. <laughs> Ever since we were little babies playing together and you rescued me from that quicksand box. Quicksand? What? <laughs> Okay, it's been clear to me that you're the most loving, caring person I know. You're gonna do great. <laughs> <laughs> but 
school with the University of Cooking School Academy uh, Academy for Learning's famous three-day only semesters. What the fudge is wrong with the school? I'm afraid of being left behind and never catching up. What the heck is wrong with the school? It's only three days. It's like one trimester in a day. Ugh. Change your subject to school. I don't really give a freak about my friends. I'm a terrible friend like that. I didn't dwell on your side and you try to change the subject to something more interesting. All summer you've been... Oh no, I just realized half my friends are watching. Hi friends, I love you very much. That's just for my gameplay, I'm sorry. Oh, don't hate me friends, please don't subscribe. <laughs> All summer you've been hearing rumors about a dreamy and enigmatic mystery student who's about the school. So it worries them, but you'll be fine. What about this mystery student you read about on a school message board and you think? Uh -huh. Oh, get this! I heard his name is Harland and he's no ordinary student. They see he has powers! He's had them since he was born from an egg! The frick? <laughs> an egg? Oh, okay. The thing have about having powers would line up with some of the other rumors I've heard. Like I've heard once Father Bear would- Oh boy, Father Bear would just smile. He both sighed, thinking about a student so handsome with the laws of physics don't dare apply to him. The frick. <laughs> Before you can get another word out, you're rudely interrupted by when someone smacks your books and custom engraved measuring spoons out of your hands onto the ground. Hey! It's Ashley, your arch rival. She's totally evil, but you can't help but be filled with jealousy. Dang, man. That. Okay. That sassy face. Of course I'm jealous. I want to be as sassy as her. Hi, Ashley. Oh, I didn't see you there, chicken shins. Yes, I have chicken shins. How did you know? You leave skitsy shins alone. They are perfectly normal shins. Stop lying, Miriam. I have chicken shins. Do you not know you're a... We've been best friends for this long and you don't know I have chicken shins? Even her name is annoying. Oh wait, Ashley. I just realized that's not Ashley, it's Ashley. Ashley. Oh. You know for a fact that it's actually Ashley. But you had to add extra letters to make sure. Ugh. Oh. Ashley, Eddie Slash. If anyone here knows what perfect shins looks like, it's us. Wait, what? That was Miriam. <laughs> Sorry. We're not going to let you or your really weird insults get to us. I'm not insulted though, I really, really have chicken shins. <laughs> Cross the quad, you see Ashley, Ashley's best friend, Van Van the Man Man. He stopped to look at his own reflection in the mirror. His pants are so tight you can see him casually working on his glutes while he styles his hair. No lie, they're rocking glutes. Ahem, Van Van? You rang rang. You've never been sure what the arrangement is, but as long as you've known them, Ashley and Van Van have been just as close as you and Miriam, but substantially more devious. I like Van Van the Man Man a lot. He's true waifu here. <laughs> I can't believe at University of Cooking School Academy for Learning would ever allow people like you to attend as students. I know, right? You think they just hand us our diplomas now? Or maybe hire us on as professors. You amateurs could learn a lot from us. How do you get your hair into a style like that? Huh. With the first day of school about to start, there's just not time to properly tell these two off. He says the urge. Let's go, Miriam. Uh. Psh, see you later, losers. That's... Uh, shut up. Okay. <laughs> As you approach the door, you see a goofy-looking kid pushing hard against the window directly next to it. Uh. I think it's broken. Reach forward and easily pull the door open. Bruh. <laughs> I love you! My name is Pop. I was raised after my papa. He's old. Um. Okay. Please say Mr. Bob. 
a pop. Are you going to make me? Wait, no, ask me. Are you going to make me hold this door all day? No! Aww. It's just me or is he kind of cute? Nah, he's just a toddler. I'm about to shrug your shoulders before I follow you into the building. I stand at the edge of the room. Unsure where to sit, but the students wander and keep themselves bitty chit, bitty chit chatting. The scruffy looking, looking. I should stop reading this stuff. <laughs> Kawaii, no. Inu. I don't know how to voice a dog. I'm sorry. Who is this unreasonably cute doggo? Why is he in her culinary class? You must be Sprinkles, head instructor and CEO of UCSAL. Please call me Professor Dog. I may be cute and a little fluffy, but I still demand respect. Oof. I'm saying oof, not woof. I'm not a dog, sorry. No, I am terrified of this school. This isn't the best school ever. I'm, I'm extremely scared right now. This is, this is what I see in my fever dreams, guys. <laughs> Chili, someone close the window. And then he walks in. He immediately slept. Eh. That's why I don't read this stuff. Swept up in the hour of this new student is remarkable goatee. Who knew anyone could be so handsome? Time stands still. <gasps> it's him. It's why it isn't my favorite student, Harland. Colonel Sanders interrupts Sprinkles. Sorry, doggo. <laughs> Before you can finish this sentence. Please, call me Colonel. Colonel Sanders. Bruh. <laughs> I cannot. <laughs> Set begins to beat across her brow. You feel like everyone's looking at you. You're not entirely wrong. <sighs> And this over here must be sweaty sweats a lot. Oh boy, how do you not know? I always, I always sweat. I all, I'm always a sweaty, gross little turd. It's alright, I accept it. How the, uh, your insults don't hurt me. <laughs> Open that window back up before faucet pits melt into. Yep, Van Van. Uh, you two both know, know my name. We were in the same kindergarten class. What's wrong with you guys? Um, there's no other option, so okay. <laughs> Beautiful angel that he is. <laughs> Says it for you, smiling gently, his hand outstretched. Boy, howdy, this classroom gets hot at Kentucky Fried. Please, use my handkerchief. No, please don't. Please don't. Your handkerchief is not worth my disgusting sweat. Like, nobody's handkerchief is worth my disgusting sweat. Please don't. <laughs> This can't be your first interaction. Okay. <laughs> um. I really should refuse, but the point of this is to date him. Thanks, I guess? <laughs> this is the finest look in it. So beautiful. You hesitate to press to your face, but when you do, the feeling is transcendent. It has this natural scent on it. It smells of the most delicious chicken you've ever smelled. Wala jolly be pain ako. Prof Doggo steps in the class, set some ground rules. Welcome to the University of Cooking School Academy for Learning, the greatest culinary academy in the world. The birthplace of culinary legends past, present and future. Many challenges await you. There will be tears. There will be blood. There might even be really adorable tiny food. And when all is said and done, there will be a battle. You will lift your sporks and compete in the broom cooking arena. Broom? Okay. Not arguing. Whoa, there's another one. Hi guys, sorry I'm late. I hope everyone had a good summer. I really miss... Quiet! Late to class is bad enough, but interrupting my monologue? You're on the fast track out of here, young man. Are you sure you're even in the right place? Don't, don't you recognize me? It's my third year in school with you as my teacher. Poor dude. Everyone stares at him blankly. Poor dude. This is this is best boy right here. This poor student dude. We can't even get his name. That's so sad. 
You're expelled if you utter one more word before I finish. Let that be a lesson to you students that tardiness is unacceptable! Even Clank made it down here on time, rolling halfway across town on his tiny wheels. What is a Clank? What? Um, okay. Oh, Clank, you rascal! Sprinkles walks in the classroom almost. Everyone stands inside. Read and when he gets to you, he lifts his ear and takes a deep sniff. Yeah, diet is lacking. Based on what I'm picking up here, you definitely need a multivitamin. You should be taking better care of yourself. And that's true, I don't eat properly. <laughs> I eat a whole lot of meat, salmon, sashimi, carbs, pasta. That, that's it. That's all I eat, ever. Vegetables? Psh, nah. Breads? Psh, nah. Gross. Just meat, salmon, sashimi, and pastas. Just meat, some sashimi, and pastas. <laughs> Never had a talking dog as teacher before, but Sprinkles' reputation for being smart, but the but tough, is well known. You decided to try and butter him up by giving him a treat from your pocket, but what kind? Beef treat, chicken snack, rubber ball. Why am I doing this to my teacher, though? <laughs> Can I not? <laughs> chicken snack, because it's KFC, why not? Chicken snack and his fingers... Oh! His favorite! Well, 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 I think there might be some competition for a new star student. <laughs> Ew. Yeah. Eat it, you, ner you the turds. You're not nerds, guys. You guys are just bullies. None of us are nerds here. <laughs> so down, young chefs. Take your seats and prepare to have your minds open to the amazing possibilities of culinary creation. So everyone rush to clean your favorite seats you're left standing at the front of the room. Only two options remain. Hey, Skitsy, you're still a seat here! Seems that no one else claimed the seat next to me, if you're interested. I'm not worried to voice this guy. Harland or Miriam? Harland or Miriam? Sexy goatee or pigtails? Green kawaii pigtails. Hmm. Hmm. I should sit beside. We're not really. I can't really say she's my best friend because I only was given the role of best friend so I'm, I'm sorry Miriam I don't like people like you <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> that's terrible it appears he brought no books pens or pencils oh thanks for offering me the seat I guess do you do all you can to do with the best you can the only way you ever get that feeling of comfy something. That's so inspiring. A little off topic if you ask me, but okay. Yeah, I'm okay. So do you see the professor makes an announcement? Think fast, it's time for a pop quiz. Yay! A quiz about me. You dumb dumbs. Incredibly important, you surprisingly short quiz it will tell me if you are ready for a life at culinary school. Keep your knives sharp and your focus sharper. Here comes question number one. If train A is traveling to point B and train B is traveling to point A, how important is it to wash your hands before cooking? Extremely. I always wash my hands before cooking, I guess. Forest to trees, chicken is two. Bedors. That's right. What's the most efficient eating utensil ever created? Of oh, comically oversized fork. I'm, I'm tempted to say that. Meat and I just smash everything into your. <laughs> How does that work though? That's right. What food is best for a broken heart? Camel meat. <laughs> Anything as long as we prepared love and not. Aww. Pancake looks like a silly face. 
I would have gone with camel meat. <laughs> Is Sprinkles a good boy? I guess... Van Van the Man Man still... Wait, no, he's not best boy, he's best husband though. Best boy student. <laughs> is that a random student? He's the best boy. <laughs> yeah. I'm a genius. Wow, be honest, did you cheat? Look up to see it. Constant was watching me you tell your score, he's impressed. I know we just met, but I have to confess. I think you have a beautiful brain. I don't like it when you say beautiful brain, but for beautiful mind, because brain is just a literal hulking nerve. It's no, not in any way beautiful. <laughs> How big is Kitty? You just scored some major consensus point with that performance. May I have your attention, students? I have an important announcement to make. Time for lunch! Oh, amazing. Cool. This is fragrance waft through the room and tickles the end of your nose and mouth waters. Wow, do you smell that? That must be our lunch. It smells crazy good. Everyone, can I have your attention? Is it about lunch? No, I just wanted to apologize for my tardiness. You see, I was... Howdy, folks. I'd like to make an announcement. Here I was... It's about lunch. Oh, okay, we're all, we're all about lunch. <laughs> but I... Uh... Shh! Lunch, lunch, lunch! <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Poor student! <laughs> Stu random student is still best boy for me. Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. That must be a smell I smelled! Indeed, that smell. You hold your breath when you see what food is mysterious to and has created. For it's very talented, but when the rumor is true, is this gasp. Piled high are a huge piece of chicken bread and fried to a crispy golden finish. Aroma envelops you, and you begin to feel warm and safe. Colonel Sanders has filled a bucket with chicken? What a novel concept. Your stomach begins to crumble as to say, stop thinking and start eating. For years I've been developing a secret recipe to f for the perfect fried chicken, but my by my calculation, nothing less than 11 herbs and spices are required to achieve the perfect balance of flavors. You look around and notice that every other student has a pen and paper and is scribbling. Hold on, I have to answer. Tiagola! Sorry, so Asian family, what can I say? <laughs> but that's all I say about that. What, you think we, can, we want your stupid secret recipe, dude? Psh, nah. nah, my dude, nah. I'm just uh, drafting a last will and testament in case uh, one of those secrets is just uh, poison. Got him. <laughs> he looks around nervous to see if anyone else is laughing. This, no, nah, I'm sorry, Van Van. That's t that was terrible. Ashley, Ashley. Yeah, and I was just like writing in my diary. Dear diary, I totally smelled something beautiful. I know that at the moment that only the hands of a true gentleman could fry chicken so tender. Oh no, mom's calling. Mom, why? Alright. She wants him all to herself. Mm. Oh, please. Mm. Well, Van Van, the man, man, if you don't want any, I'll take his. Well, hold on. I mean, I guess I'll try it. 
He takes one b Oh gosh. <laughs> he became something else. He won by and his eyes grow wide. He starts contorting his face and he tries, tries to hold in his pure exhilaration and act unimpressed. Easy now. There's enough for everyone. Please, my fellow classmates, dig in. Take one of the pieces of fried chicken out of this bucket and sink your teeth into it. Dang it, Mom! Shut <laughs> It's... It's amazing! Tasting Carl Sanders' food transports you to another dimension. Along with your taste buds, gripping a drumstick in your hand, you float weightlessly. Food wars. So do the light. <laughs> Focus your mind be it. Uh, this moment, try and identify your flavor. Savor the moment. Everything I tell us to you about. Honestly. So do the light. <laughs> this is the answer. Wait, hold on. I forgot to lock my door again, I think. Okay. The flavors in your mouth are beautiful, pure, heavenly. What a guy! Alone with the flavors, feel something that can only be described as love for a man, for a flavor, are they the same? After tasting his food, you try to get some one on one time with Colonel Sanders. No other option. <laughs> Colonel Sanders smells ever so softly as you approach. He stops what he is doing and allows you to break in silence. Colonel, I wonder if I could talk to you for a second. Anything for a fellow chef. What exactly was on that chicken? <gasps> <laughs> How bold to come out and ask. That's that though. It's an idea I had for a new combination of flavors that will make me my fortune and establish my legacy for all time as they open a chain of highly successful fried chicken restaurants. No big deal. <laughs> it's just you and me here talking. I, I can keep a secret. In fact, I got some of my own that will be willing to trade. What's the rush? The semester is only getting started, semester. We've got two or more whole days to get to know each other. You know what they say about secrets, Colonel? Shouldn't learning be fun? Aww. You've got Moxie. I'll give you that. <laughs> Just one ingredient, but you can't tell. I use redacted. It's something my great grandmother taught me. Redacted. Wow! You'd never have guessed that. In fact, you're not even sure where you'd get some of those if you searched. While you're wrapped up in huge revelation, you notice that Colonel Sanders has disappeared! Well, everyone's still in the cafeteria. Wait, what? You find Colonel Sanders outside, standing in the quad. Oh, it's you again! Howdy! I really- I'm not really ready to force this guy. <laughs> Sometimes I like to come outside and look at school buildings. I think about how my story will continue on after I've graduated. Sounds like you have big plans. I dare say the biggest. I will leave my mark on this world. You can bet on that. Alone together for the first time, you figure it's perfect when you person I did. You must be thoughtful, well known with the idea, and Make him show your own strength. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just, I just acquired no turn. Well, I just want to tell you what I really enjoyed your food. Nah, <laughs> senpai. The flavors were complex but comforting. The interplay between salty, savory, and peppery, it was perfect. I appreciate the compliments. Uh, can't even pronounce my own name. <laughs> I'm sure you'll be a great success. I don't know who I met today, but I'm starting to get the same feeling about you. Oh! We're gonna head back next time. The next lesson starts soon. Except me to the massive cooking arena. 
It reminds me of Master Chef. <laughs> Where the afternoon lesson will take place. He still gets an oven and all the tools and ingredients they could need. Master Chef or Cook uh, Food Wars again. <laughs> Look at this place, it's magnificent! Finally, we gotta show our stuff! Wait a second! Oh no, we have to show our stuff! <laughs> Rip Miriam. Rip Miriam. Welcome students to a cooking arena. For today's lesson, we'll be cooking with partners. Hurry up and pair off. Hey. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Miriam. Hey, Colonel. Colonel Sampai. Want to be my partner? Oh. Cool. Partner. Oh dear. Hmm. I don't know who to choose. Aw. Friend Dewey's gonna be a little awkward. Surprise me from not being alone forever. I would I trust because I'm an awesome friend and I trust my friends to be able to be capable by themselves. I'm gonna go with the inanimate object. <laughs> Pop's kind of a dummy dumb, so I don't think they're compatible. Sorry, Pop. Sorry, Pop. It's okay, I already ate. Well, <laughs> I made a good choice, I guess. <laughs> he needs to begin to roll back and forth. We don't even know the assignment yet. Something charming in is Aww. <laughs> Tissue? I hardly know you. Aww. She made a new friend. Aww. Alright, you two. For today's lesson, we're going to keep it simple. Pick a basic dish and divide up the steps. No chef is an island that takes two flints to make fire. You get the idea. Which dish should I suggest to my partner? Hmm. Steak tartare seems easy enough. It's fancy, you don't need to cook it. Cooking octopus will blow. It's Colonel Sanders might. Your Grammy's mashed potatoes and gravy. Steak tartare. I honestly I like steak tartare, but if it, it isn't for the game that's KFC, it should be mashed potatoes. Hmm. Fine. <laughs> Down home, chef. I was thinking we could make something warm, inviting, comforting. Maybe some mashed potatoes from Gammy Graham. And gravy. I guess. Mm, it's like cast a coil look at you causing your whole face to get beat red. <laughs> I'll go get the potatoes. No, please, let me. Baking perfect produce is a passion of mine. <sighs> Looks like things are getting pretty fresh around here. Doesn't someone have a crush on Colonel Sanders? <laughs> I can't even. <laughs> We're just cooking partners. Mind your own business. Thought. Sanders' heart is my business. Is my business. And you'd better keep your fingers off my man. Mm. I thought Van Van Der Man is your man. Oh. oh, Joey was right. This was good. Oh, I like the song. <laughs> like it. <laughs> <laughs> I love this song. <laughs> Joey was right. <laughs> Van Van. And so I have no dreams to start with. <laughs> well, what? 
I love this song so much. <laughs> you reckon Fort Snow would do it? Oh. Bruh, how dare you talk in my behalf? I am not having any trouble, you thought. I was going to say, Colonel Sanders, maybe I could also teach you a thing or two about fancy food. Maybe one day you might be able to get it to my level. <laughs> Doubt it. <gasps> Don't be rude, Van Van. <laughs> Definitely have no answer to whoever, whatsoever. I like Colonel Sanders' very concoct creations for the admiration. After all, this bad chicken was quite spectacular. Make a better partner for you than this thing that has positioned itself at your station. Excuse me, what? Excuse me, what? I shall protect my territory at all costs. What kind of friend am I? Hmm. Do I rely on my friends for help or do I rely on my on a senpai that I just met? Hey fam, too healthy. Helping me. Is somebody threatening my friends? I will destroy them! Yeah, I'm gonna stick my friend at him. <laughs> Dang it, the cute cords. I love the cord. I know just what to do. Because I was listening to holding a beautiful white person gravy boy. I love this of which put a smooth brown gravy smothering the new finished potato dish. Oh, that's Colonel Sanders holds a spork out to you. You reach out and grab hold of it. But he doesn't mean to let go. The two of you stand. Holding the same spork, and for a small moment, all of the madness and pressure in this crazy world just stops. Your eyes lock, the moment electric. Time stands still. If you love something, set it free. You dig me into the mashed potatoes with the heaping spork full. Oh, you see Ashley with a sinister look. Oh uh, no. <laughs> I'm back with the awesome song. You fling a spork full of mesh mesh patats into Ashley's Ashley. Van Van do something <laughs> You better. Hold it right there, Skitsy. We do not waste in this broom cooking arena. Come on, Sanders, I expect better from you. If you throw one more spoonful. You both better be prepared to eat it from wherever it lands. Can I have potato paste? Ben Venom's back over, cover edition is in. Whoa, that is cool. I like that. <laughs> Mashed potatoes with gravy. Pathetic. In just a few minutes, I, prepare eh. I prepared a full meal. Gaze upon my speciality. Braised tentacle of octopus in my silky salt water sauce. Plated on a bell axe blade. Forged by the supreme chef ancestors. <laughs> You've ignored me for too- Wait, no, that's it. You've ignored me for too long. That and now it is I who will have first bite. And you will look on with envy. No! Don't! 
something about this doesn't struck my nose quite right. I think the octopus was crushed and may have turned in the process. The results could be toxic. Too late. Oh no. I, uh, I think I left something in the oven. I don't it's just dark. I, I don't think it's so good. It killed him! <laughs> oh no, my best boy! <laughs> Everyone step back, don't take another bite! Let me look back at the plate, the rest of this guy. Oh no, Pop. Pop was just in pain for Mr. Morgan. Oopsie. Tastes like poison. Okay. He's invincible. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Not sure the professor's here make enough money. <laughs> um hello. I just turned into a ghost over here. It's alright, you're still best boy. <laughs> if you're gonna be really nice to him, it's not this. <laughs> I'm sorry I had to go through all that, please let me walk you home. <laughs> what, like for real? Oh, come on. Ooh. <laughs> Follow the current ladder room. Alright, school. Alright? At night. But entirely it's dark and more than a little spooky. Colonel stands in a quad's neon glow and speaks softly. Those mashed potatoes you made in class today. Before, before you go on, I want you to know, they're not a great representation of my skills. I didn't even realize I was making them. They were amazing. Tasting them reminded me why I became so passionate about food to begin with. Ah. He might be the perfect time to tell him. And developing feelings for him. Colonel Sanders? Yes, Skitsy. There's something I need to tell you. Aha! Hold it right there! There's something I need to tell you first. You see, when I was a young boy, without joke, I had a dream that one day I would be the greatest chef the world has ever seen. And every day since, I've been working toward that dream. Day and night, never stopping, never resting. Also, lifting a lot of weights. Like so, so many weights. We should follow our dreams with all our hearts, that our souls may grant them like wishes floating on a shooting star. Ooh. Hey, no, I, you. He became a super saiyan. <laughs> Shut up! I'm the one to say inspirational stuff and be a star of the story! I forgot your cookie. <laughs> they really killed best boy. Poor best boy. You can't prove that. Hmm. I also saw you kill that guy. What was his name? Aw. Oh. Somewhere in the rain, I hear a long sad sigh. I wonder if you still can sing. <laughs> Forget him, we're talking about me, 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 me. I'm the hero. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> What's. How dare you threaten me just as I was laying down my guard and connecting with another chef on an emotional level. Be afraid. Be very afraid of me. Cause I'm a monster, see? <laughs> you syntax everything further. It's a turn-based fight sequence. I will... I will slap. And speaking of slap, slap like. And subscribe. Super slip. There's no super slip. Unbelievable. OMG. <laughs> this one it just got real. Oh no. I angered it. Oh. I take one damage. Owie. Owie. 
not. I cover myself. I can defend Bayou's trepidation. Can you say that and do whatever comes your way? Seems like a pretty weird strategy, but okay. <laughs> From Mother Earth itself. How will I respond? I think. I will. Why is there still no slip? Put you till you cancel? Yeah. Oh, wait, I take too much damage. Vile villain, you reign of terror stops here! The energy of a thousand chickens! Not my power pitch! You saved me! Yay! Forget mercy for you. Spares, wretched beast. Imagine you tamp down your disgust and sense, not only beast, long enough to be less. He's still a living creature with a pure soul who serves to protect him. Not your wrath. Be gone, beast. Don't you dare come back for a follow up encounter tomorrow. I won't forget this. I certainly won't be back, like you said. Aww. Oh, it left behind a special item. And so much more. It's a book of magic spells, with a golden chicken on the cover. You open the cover, and find a library card tucked inside. <laughs> Last name... To have signed it is Borco. Huh. That name sounds strangely familiar. To come down from your battle buzz, you realize you found a tech of stuff you completely depleted. The world around you begins to fade away. Without any energy, you left your eyes open. Keep your eyes up. Uh, okay. The image of Colonel Sanders flashes before you as you fall asleep. <laughs> he has to help you get home. The entire state, you don't, if you don't know if you could have made it without him. My okay. guy. You want to thank him, but you don't have enough strength to utter a single word. You feel your covers being pulled up over you as you tucked in tightly. Good night, my Colonel. In your dream, you took a wood Sanders for some reason, Sprinkles is also there. Instructing your love dreams are weird. <laughs> wow. What a fever dream I've got. <laughs> this is exactly what I see in my fever dream. <laughs> you awake on day two and attempt to promise the wild visions you've had. Were they memories or premonitions? Then there was that secret ingredient Colonel Sanders went ahead and told you outright. Not much of a secret, huh? It's probably just because he already trusts you so much. If you guys make sense, we'll go with that. You made up with your bestie in front of school. Before you can tell her about the encounter with the sport monster, she launches into a story of her own. Okay, I know this might sound real strange, but I think I might be, um... I think I might li like Clank! Like... What? I know, it sounds like he's moving too fast, but there's something about him. I like him. I like like him. He got to talking after class, and he's actually a totally sweet guy. Not only that, but he's really smart. He told me all kinds of stories about Colonel Sanders. You know that Colonel Sanders was the most popular kid in his high school? Um, okay. Yeah, but he was so popular that he was bored proking at the school he didn't even go to. And it was also the convertible that he himself wrote at the what? And Joanna was also the convert. Um, okay. I'm thinking. Huh. 
either way, maybe it'd be best if we took it slow with this new guy. Inanimate object. You and Colonel Sanders? The coolest guy in school? The most famous student to ever attend to rev this flash. Oh no, uh, battery is loading. Dang it. You're a thing now? We definitely can't be yesterday. <laughs> you sure did? You're great. Why wouldn't he be into you, I guess? Okay. I mean, I mean to my friends, though, I guess. That it's only fair that she's mean to me too. <laughs> I didn't have to. Say, I didn't. Uh, secret ingredient. Oh no. So this summer, while I was on vacation with my family, a lovely man approached me in the botanical garden while I was wandering. Wandering. told me all about his passion for spices, secret spices. The man even gave me some. He showed me what he meant and said it was a powder created from super duper red dried flower petals. And that if I did him a big favor, I could have some on my own. Please don't tell me. So I filled my suitcase with them and brought them home. He was so nice. He even met me at the gate when I arrived. Later when I cooked with them, a very strange feeling came over me. And the flavor was unlike anything I've ever tasted. E Whatever. Anyhow, we both share an interest in cooking, so we've stayed in touch, you know. Like penthouse. I bet he would love to know what more about new spices. Well, I'm not telling you what is a secret. Please, please, please! It would mean the world to me! No one has to know what came from you or Colonel Sanders. Sorry, ma'am, but I, I, I ain't telling you. I and you. I and you? Wow! <laughs> Bro. Stand back and admire his majestic glory. Why do you have a horse? <laughs> it's one thing with a with a flourish. It steps a beautiful creature down the alley, sending it running free into the countryside. <laughs> Joe is struck by the sight of him which means you believe he speak creatively. That's me. Oh, I didn't realize anyone was watching. What a horse of full beauty you have. Horse of full beauty! Being a good friend, Miri. Miri. Mirin. Skits, you just really, it's really nice fun people they like. Thanks, Mary. That, 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 that's awesome, Mary. I mean, they got food poisoning and were up all night. It was gruesome. Should have seen it. You can give me a wink and smile through safe situation handled. Thanks, Mary. What does this thing do? Must be really bad. Like counterfeiting recipes bad, experimenting with restricted ingredients bad, summoning a demon bad. Try and get a peek over Van Van's hulking shoulder. <laughs> Absolute unit. Sees it coming. 
Well there, little one. I'm not sure you're ready to handle oh. this. B. Mind your own way. What? <laughs> I don't care about you. <laughs> yeah. And there goes my battery. <laughs> I'll just continue this next time. And I hope the video properly saved. Oh no. Bye bye.